7 into 11 plus 11 into 15 plus 15 into 19 all the way till 95 into 99 is and so all of these questions this is right some way of having nth term and then we can simplify this how do we do this nth term here we can say is n into n plus 4 n plus 4 into n plus 8 plus 4 that part is clear right and then it's, this also goes in plus 4 terms so this will, we can write this as 4n plus 3 into 4n plus 7 each term why am i choosing 4n because this from 7 i go to 11 11 i go to 15 15 i'll go to 19 so my step size of my defining term is in steps of 4 so i increment go from one term to the next term my term has to go up by 4 that means i need to have a 4n sitting there so nth term of this expression is 4n plus 3 into 4n plus m. t1 is 7 into 11 t2 4 into 2 8 8 plus 3 11 into 15 t3 is 15 into 19 and so on so 4n plus 3 into 4n plus 7 if you expand this this is 16n square plus 12n plus 28n plus 21 or 16 n square plus 40 n plus 21 fine and 4 n plus 3 if you put it equal to 95 to get to this term then 4 n is 92 n is 23 n goes from 1 to 23 there are 23 terms in the summation and so or we can say we are looking to do summation 16 n square plus 40 times summation n plus 21 times summation 1 going from 1 to 23 when n becomes 23 right now we know the formula for this 16 times n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6 plus 40 times n into n plus 1 by 2 plus 21 times n is what we need to find when n is equal to 23 fine so all these numbers seem to be adjacent to each other we can this number is a multiple of n so we can carve out n from this and, and we can say which of these is a multiple of 23 that's one way of going about it 16 by 6 is 8 by 3 this is 20 so simplifying this we can get n out 8 into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 3 plus 20 times n plus 1 plus 21 this is what we are looking to find so of that we can say 80707 divided by 23 goes 3 times 69 117 5 times 115 0 0 times 7 9 times so this is a multiple of 23 this number is this plus 44 this doesn't work 80730 is a possibility 80773 this is from here from 7 to 73 we are adding 66 this doesn't work it's either this or this so we might have to substitute and simplify and find n by 3 we take out we get 8 into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 plus 60 times n plus 1 plus 63 you have to expand this and find out i'm just thinking if there is a street smart way of doing this uh, we have an n by 3 outside so we're either getting 23 into 3509 or 23 into 3510 this is the only two possibilities we have from the answer choices i'm just seeing if there is a street smart way of of doing this i'm going to copy this expression and then continue from there so n by 3 23 by 3 into 8 this is 23 by 3 8 into 24 into 
2 into 23 46 plus 1 47 plus 60 into 24 plus 63 so this becomes 8 8 21 60 into 8 is 480 this is 21 this also does not end in a end in a zero so 8 into 8 is 64 4 plus 7 28 it ends in a 1 so this should be this this number does not end in 0 I'm going to go for this we have found out this answer by brute force and then substituted but I'm looking to see there's some street smart way of doing this it's a multiple of 23 it would have been brilliant if you had got only one multiple of 23 sitting there unluckily enough for us there are two of them so we eliminate this later on by doing some more poking around this is the right answer in an exam context obviously you might have a calculator you can plug it in you don't need to do all this substitute get through and then you're done